I was looking around the room at all of you to see if there was a conservative, an adult in the room, a statesperson, someone who respects the institution, someone who's trying to be a moderate and get us back on track, if there was anybody who was going to make a motion to reconsider the vote we've taken. If there's anybody who wanted to reconsider that, because what just happened, colleagues, is the most insane precedent I have ever experienced in this body, which is we had like five people talk on a motion with about three hours of people in the queue to speak. Senator Slama used her first opportunity to speak to call the question on the motion that only a few people had even gotten to speak on. The chair rightly said, no, 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 we have not had everybody have a chance to speak yet. And she motioned to overrule the chair, which is fine and fair, cool, makes sense. That's her prerogative, that's in the rules, that's fine. And all of you went along with it. Who runs this body? Who's making the decisions for you? Are you guys proud of yourselves? Do you think you're comporting yourselves as states people? Do you think that you're giving the respect to this institution that you were sent here to preserve? So now we've got a great new precedent. Great job, guys, good work. Well done, colleagues. Now, when four or five or six people have spoken on a motion or an amendment or a bill, however dilatory you might think it is, however substantive it may actually be, now we have a precedent that somebody can call the question and steamroll three hours of debate. Well done! Mr. President, am I allowed to ask anybody questions on this time? Yes, you are, Senator. Senator Hughes, would you yield to a question? Senator, Senator Hughes, will you yield? Yes. Thank you, Senator. Do you understand that the vote that you just took makes it so after five people have spoken on any matter before us, we can rule that full and fair debate has happened? Did you understand that when you made that vote? I was looking at this as we would move on from the IPP I would like to debate the bill at hand, the 574. And do you so think I that it would move Do you think that, that five people speaking is enough people who would like to weigh in, speak to their constituents, make points to the rest of the body about their feelings on that motion? And that was for the motion to to indefinitely, indefinitely postpone. postpone. Do you think there are conservatives in the queue who wanted to speak to that motion who didn't get to? Or are you just on Team Slama and that's how you're making decisions here in the body? I would not call myself Team Slama, no. Okay, thank you, Senator Hughes. I would ask the same question of all of you who voted for that motion to overrule the chair. We are in a procedural quagmire because of Senator Slama. And as long as we are in this, we are not debating the hate that Senator Kathleen Kouth is trying to put into statute. We can speak on the bill. We can speak on, you know. One minute. Thank you, Mr. President. We can speak about what the bill actually does, and people certainly are, and that's typical. When there's different motions up on the board, people do speak to the underlying bill. but five people getting to speak to their constituents, speak to Nebraskans on the most controversial bill of this session with everything we have at stake. A lot of you don't know your role in this body, but the thing that you can do is always look at the rules, look at precedent, and ask yourself what the right thing to do is. Don't just look around and say, oh, here's somebody I like who's doing the same thing. You can't think that way. You're allowing yourselves to be controlled just as you're trying to control the children and families of this state. But who really owns you when you're doing that? Thank you, Mr. President. 